Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? You cracked another crystal? Well, don't just stand there gawping. From what I hear... The poor buggers. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. It'd better all be here. Finished, are you? Clive. I always thought I could teach the best of them a thing or two about working with leather. But... <laughs> oh, I've wasted enough breath talking about it. Be off with you. Must have been hot. I know how hard it can be. So, will it be? Say so myself. Lost you a good while. No scratches, right? You can thank me later. Best work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. That it? Fine. Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. 
Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me? I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Give us new clothes, but we've no coin. Expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Here you are. All done?
Stay sharp. What are you after? near the Abbey are certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for more than beds. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Bright yellow. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well gather as many as I can. There's something familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins. Them pilgrims nice and chilled. Look at this place. Let's hope the draper has Hortense's cloth. Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. a menace! She meant nothing by it, I swear. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, th these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I am, but, um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend, but we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect! I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits! As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover 
You take the answer one, killer. Stop calling me that. All your trouble. You made your point. Killer my ass. Did he hurt you? No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. How's that done then? Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. Day to you, Sid.
Come on. Run like the wind. Let's go. Don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Help 
Something there, boy. Could that be our man? Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? <laughs> She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund? It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art, and not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood.
Clive. Sorry again for sending you all that way. But you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these... You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. This one, I suppose. I've a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? Hmm? I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just had that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offered to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> or perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Lady Hortense said she'd give us our dresses soon. Said they'd be made of linen. Not sackcloth. I've never had a dress made of linen. 